how to import Figma templates in Clavio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can import any template within Figma to your Clavio campaign or also Clavio emails. It is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to Clavio.com then sign in for an account. In my case, I have an account. I'm simply going to set my password. Then I'm going to click on I'm not a robot. Click on login and it will show up the account right away. Here we have the Clavio dashboard. In the same time everything is loading, we are going back to Figma. Sign into your account within Figma and create a new design if you don't have one. Or you can go ahead and select the design that you are going to set. In my case, I am simply going to create a new design. Click on design file and now it will show up the editor or the edit mode. Now I'm going to select or make an email template to make it uh, maybe uh, suitable for Clavio. So on the campaigns, you are going to select them and import that or create your own campaign. And also for the templates, you have here the templates. Go ahead and create a blank email. I'm going to click on it. This is it. And simply you are going to create it from scratch. This is the blocks. Now everything is set within Clavio. We are going back to Figma. And from there, you are going to click and create a rectangles. Go ahead and make the rectangles. I'm going to make the rectangles maybe like that. Then we are going to adjust the width and also the height of the uh, templates. I'm going to de-zoom or zoom out something like that. And here we are going to put it as 720. Make something like that. This is a, a great format. I'm going to let it here at the middle. And also you can go ahead and duplicate this one. And now I'm going to set it like that and only go ahead to create some other rectangles. Make them from this one like that and make sure to set everything right there. Go ahead and let it like that to 720 maybe or adjust it from here 720 like that. It will be showcasing the same rectangle. Now for the fill or the color background you are going to click on fill. Select that the template and now choose whatever you want from these colors. Go ahead and select any color that you want, but make sure to copy that code. This is the hex code. Go ahead and select the other rectangle and paste right there the hex code. Right there we have the same template, but two of the rectangles. So we are going to create some contents on them. Now let's go ahead and create some uh, maybe headers. Go ahead and click and select another rectangle. And within that random rectangle, you are going to create something like a header. Go ahead and, and select it and click on it on the rectangle objects. Click on place image slash videos. Here we are going to see if we have a header. We are going to make it right there. And for that, you are going to click on the header. Make some, uh, for example, exposures to that image or select from the libraries right there and go ahead and select the overlays. Here we have the custom. You can put it and fill whatever you want. You can put it, for example, fit or you can put it a crop or let it fill. This is the header. Make sure that you have these same uh, dimensions that we have created right there. This is just an example. So you are going to select the um, optimized width and height from the Photoshop file or the Canva template that you have set. And this is just an example. Now you can add some text by clicking on text right there. Select the text field. For example, we are going to set a header right there. Make sure to set the right um, dimension of the text. I'm going to put a header of 32. So we are going to put here uh, welcome Welcome to our news letter, for example, and then we are going to set it to the middle. If you don't like that size, go ahead and change it like this, maybe like that or like that. 
you can go ahead and select the color of this one i'm going to put it to white and also you can have some strokes or some effects here we have the uh, drop shadow and everything is set right there go ahead and select it and we have it now let's say that we have set this one and i'm going to add some images go ahead and click on the this one or you can go ahead and click on the figma logo click on file and then simply click on place image from these images you are going to set for example let's say that i have created a newsletter within canva i have one i think right there so we are going to import it i'm going to search for it give me a moment here we have the image set i'm going to make it a little bit smaller to fit everything and then you are going to make it maybe longer to show up or showcase everything set within this newsletter you can set it like that and make the title like this or you can go ahead and delete all of these and only let the newsletter design like that put it right here and everything is set after you have set your newsletter simply go ahead right there and select all of it by clicking or pressing Control a it will select all of the elements right there and you are going to choose right there on the right side menu we have the option on export click on the plus logo or the plus here sign and now we are going to uh, download or export that image as we want we have png gpg svg or a pdf the most simplest one is to import them or export them as a png click export rectangle 2 and here we have the rectangle set as you can see we have the template now the next step that we are going to do is to go to clavio again within the email creator template go ahead and add an image block make sure that you are going to set the logo if you want or if you don't want you can go ahead and delete that and for the footer you can go ahead and put the footer and make these disappear you can only let the clavio logo appear make sure to delete everything within the image go ahead and select the image upload your image or the selected image i'm going to search for it and simply i'm going to make it like that here we have the upload progress we are going to back up a little bit and let the image upload slowly and as you can see we have the image uploaded and ready this is just an example it is not a real template or real newsletter template it is just a call to action and also a lot of uh, as you can see words and photos just to make the tutorial set like that this is how to import figma designs you can go ahead and set whatever you want from figma like you can add a text right there go ahead and create a text or make some designs you can customize and create whatever you want within figma it just need to be selected and also exported this is for the clavio you can go ahead and adjust whatever you want from the colors the gradients the text the forms and also uh, whatever integration that you have in your uh, or resources that you have within your figma design that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one